Let's talk about spreads. The subject of spreads is a crucial part in VVVV. Every time you're going to work with multiple instances of data, like values, strings, colors, or even nicely animated objects, or even transforms, you want to think in spreads. I have set up this quick demonstration patch to show you a few spreads. The word spread is basically nothing more than a list. A list with data of one type, like values, colors, or strings. One of the entries in such a list is called a slice. So this is a slice, but this is also a slice, and this is also a slice. For anyone that coded in any other language than VVVV, think about a spread as a simple array. And a slice is one element of such an array. It's time to make a spread. So let's delete this. Left click, drag, delete. Spreads are generated by a spread generator. And these are grouped under the type spreads in the node selection list. So if I double left click to get my cursor, I click right, move to the left, and then I scroll down to spreads. Notice the little tooltip above the node. It's a little helper about the node. Left click on linear spread and create one. When I hover above the output pin of the linear spread, I will read output 0000. But when I change the spread count pin, right click, drag, and now hover above the output, I see a number in between brackets. This means there are now 17 slices in the spread. When you hover above this pin, you will only see one value, and that's the first slice of the spread. Okay, let's set the spread count back to one. And open a my head inspector. I use the short key, control I. Select linear spread to view its information in head inspector. Next to the output pin, you see one diamond bracket. This means the output only has one slice. When I change the spread count of the linear spread again, you notice there are now two diamond brackets next to the output pin. This means there is now a spread in the output pin. When I left click here, I can view all the slices in the spread. Please note that VVVV starts counting slices beginning from zero. So the first slice in the spread is slice zero. I have now showed you two ways to see if you are dealing with a spread. One is to look for double diamond brackets in Head Inspector, or the other one is hover above a pin and look for a value between brackets. There are many nodes that will help you to generate a spread. These are listed under the group Spreads. When we are going to talk about help files, I will show you the tools you will need to explore all the spread generators yourself. There are also many nodes that will help you dealing with spreads, like getting individual slices or getting pieces of a spread, and those will be handled in a later tutorial. To see a spread in action in its most simple form, I'm going to rebuild the Hello World patch. It's just a renderer. text node, the transform, and the circular spread. I make all the connections again. Do a bit of scaling. Added some motion. Perhaps a bit slower. And let's also change the text. Like an IO box string. And type in some text. Connect this to the text inlet.
and here we have our hello world patch again. The circular spread is a spread generator, but this one actually generates two spreads. Spread 1, spread 2. Watch what happens if I change the spread count. VVVV rules three times. Okay, there was a quick tutorial about spreads. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your IO box value advanced to have a bit more help for manually dealing with spreads.